Alright, let me set the scene for you. It's a cold wintry night and you're sitting in your car. It's quiet and lonely. But then in the distance, you see your opponent speeding towards you. The one-on-one -on -one duel through the canyon is about to start. The distance between the car ahead and your car being the only thing that matters. No other races, no moving up positions, just you and the car ahead of you. And the possibility of falling to your death. The roar of the engine overpowers every other sound you can hear with the soundtrack blasting down your ears. Need for Speed Carbon manages to do something that many other games have, but not in the way that it does it, not to my knowledge at least. There are probably thousands of games with gripping sequences and overall gameplay outside of the racing genre, and even within the racing genre I'm sure you could find a few examples that give you that adrenaline rush. Even sim racing games can get thrilling when you're sitting in a car trying to beat a car right in front of you. Need for Speed Shift's visuals cannot be described as anything less than thrilling. Need for Speed The Run has its own fair share of thrilling sequences, and I'd be crucified if I forgot about Drive Club, which is to this day one of the most visually stunning games. But I think what makes Need for Speed Common special is that it is otherwise a normal fun arcade racer. The normal races in the city are nothing more. In the previous examples, there's something about being in the cockpit. You're either racing for positions or feeling the raw visual thrill that the game could provide you. But Enfys Carbon's canyons don't do either of those things, in my opinion at least. You're not driving through a circuit, carefully gaining positions and buckling under the pressure of your own exertion. There's no fancy rocks falling in your way as you try to avoid them, and the gameplay is quite frankly the exact same as the base games. Need for Speed Carbon instead has the best possible type of race set on the canyons, a duel between two races. There's something very personal about knowing that you're fighting one other person. This is probably the draw for animes like Initial D where a lot of the races are just one-on-ones. In fact, all of them are actually. It's a lot more interesting to just see pe It's a lot more interesting to just see two people fighting it out. The format itself is simple enough. It's a two-phase race, with the first phase having you chase your opponent, building up your score meter. The closer you are to them, the more points you get. The second phase has you being chased by the opponent, where they need to negate your score to zero by being closer to you throughout the race. If you make it to the bottom without your score reaching to zero, you win. There's more details, but we'll get to those as we go on. I think when considering something like a canyon race, there probably were other ways to present it. A prime one, for example, would probably just have been to take inspiration from Initial D, which is to set the race to these high adrenaline disco music, showing how flashy and fun the experience is. But when making the game, the developers instead chose to describe how scary the experience is. I think one of the main things that show this for me is through the music. Trevor Morris's score is more scary than it is fun. It keeps you at the edge of your seat, and I wholeheartedly believe that this is one of the most important components for the experience. Had they instead just played like normal music, which they do for the base game, I think this experience would not have been anywhere nearly just as intense. The other aspect for me is the breakable guardrails. When you go into a corner, some of them have these guardrails that can be broken. If you break them, there is a very good chance that you can fall over and you can instantly lose the race. Of course, canonically this also means that you die, but this is a video game, so it doesn't quite matter. These also don't show up during the normal races that take place in the canyons, which further lead me to believe that this is something that is there just to make the canyon duels more intense. There's minor things to add to this experience as well, like the way the places are dimly illuminated. The camera sometimes anticipates corner, building up tension as you approach the corner. A similar thing happens when you take a corner and you go too wide and the camera will somewhat fall over to the other side, which is also a very satisfying mechanic. 
The main reason why I even started making this video was because of this very specific brake pedal sound effect that plays as you slam the brakes. This last part is such a neat detail. It reminds me of shots from movies where you see people slam pedals. It's a wonder most other racing games don't follow this mechanic because I think it enhances the experience a lot more when dealing with the style of driving that majority deals with accelerating out of corners and then rapidly slowing down for the next corner. The score bar is color coded, which means you don't have to look at it. Instead, there's this constant sense of anxiety. If it's blue, that means you don't have anything to worry about, but if it's red, you are panicking because you're trying so hard to catch up and you don't have to look at it it's just in your peripheral vision you can see the color another interesting mechanic is that if you do too horribly and if you fall too far behind a counter will stop and once this counter reaches zero you have lost of course on the other end you can overtake your opponent and the same counter will stop if you stay ahead of your opponent for enough time you instantly win the race no next phase easy as that what makes this more challenging, however, is that when you're following your opponent too closely, you can obviously give it a shot at overtaking them. However, if you collide, you're going to lose some points. So what you need to make sure is that you stay right on your opponent's tail, and you don't overtake them unless you know you can do it without touching them. Of course, I never thought about this as much. I don't think the penalty that you get for crashing into your opponent is that significant. However, it is something to consider if you keep repeatedly hitting your opponent. Because what you need to consider is that if you fail to overtake them and if you kept repeatedly hitting them throughout the race, you will have less score when you go into the second phase which will make it harder to escape them. Overall, I think all of this comes together to have one of the most interesting racing game experiences in a game that I think would otherwise have been nothing more than just a boring sequel to Need for Speed Most Wanted. Which is why I think it's like really important to consider that these canyon races were something very important to the game because i think when i think about like you know most games out there you have something that like sets it apart and i feel like that is what the canyon races did to carbon i mean for a lot of people i think if you didn't have these canyon races this game would probably not have stood out much at all i mean it's just whatever you know it's just one more game in the market it doesn't really matter that much but I think these canyon races really did set the tone for the game. And I think that's apparent from the fact that the opening sequence in this game is a canyon duel. And it was definitely one of the main things that they were focusing on in the marketing. Thanks for waiting up. Yeah, yeah, sure, Nikki. Hey, uh, who's the third wheel? It was while I was working on this video that I found out that the actor for Neville in this game, Chris Gauthier, died in February 2024 which is this year. I did not know about this before I started working on the video and at this point I'm not even sure how to mention it in this video because it feels weird to say this is a tribute to him or dedicated to him because I didn't even know about it when I started this video but I just felt like since I was working on it I might as well just take a moment to talk about it because Neville was definitely one of the best parts of this game and I was really sad when I found out that he died. Um, I think Nevis stands out as one of the funniest and you know nicest characters in the series. Especially when you're in a race and you have him as your crew member, he's gonna like talk to you and he has the most friendly vibe in the game. Like all the other crew members they just feel like crew members, but Neville feels like a friend and it's really comforting to have him around for these races. Yeah, it's just extremely sad to see that he's gone. I don't know, it's 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 an awkward thing to mention something like this. I've never done this, I don't know what to say, but um yeah. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that sucks man. <laughs> that sucks so much. That's great. Damn the monkey! When I'm working on the script for these videos, I generally avoid watching other videos that are talking about the same thing because otherwise I end up kind of copying their ideas. But once I was done with recording most of this video, I decided to sit down and watch Racevic's video on NFS Carbon. And unfortunately, it feels like I did end up copying most of his flow anyway. But either way, that's like a one-hour video that goes deep into NFS Carbon and talks about some great things. And I also think he talks about the part where I said that this game doesn't have a lot going for it other than the canyons, which probably was just because Black Box didn't have enough time because of the yearly re release schedule. And I feel a bit bad for having said that, but in our opinion the game's strongest point really is the canyons and everything else just 
doesn't stand out quite as much as the canyon. I do really like the facial capture though. Having people's faces in games, especially when you're racing and you see this small window. This is really good, especially when it comes to canyon duels and you're fighting the boss and then you see their reactions. It's really well made. This video is more or less just the fact that I was so tired from the previous few videos and I had exams going on so I wasn't able to work that much of this video. I'm sorry for that. And um, next video, let's see. I just, I just hope I can come up with something decent. That's gonna be it for me today though. Bye bye.